everyone, in this short video I am going to show you the most dangerous Asian gangsters. They are mostly in Japan, Thailand, China, Philippines, Indonesia, Iran, Afghanistan, and India. Let's start. Asia is the greatest and the most populated continent in the world, and it hosts numerous dangerous gangsters. China, India, Japan, Iran, Afghanistan, and Philippines are country of origin for most of Asian gangs and gangsters. There are huge resources in Asia and it makes the continent attractive for gangs. Trade of weapons and drug trafficking are too important business for most of Asian gangs as the other parts of the world. In some countries, politicians resort to gangsters to achieve their goals. Also gangsters attend in the other Asian countries, but the most important powerful and famous gangsters are in the mentioned countries. So let's start with Japan. The Japanese gangs are well known as Yakuza. Yakuza is an umbrella term that describes the Japanese gangs like Mafia in Italy. It is believed that the Yakuza groups were founded in 17th century and they called themselves Nikyo Dantai. That means chivalrous organization. It is estimated that there are between 2,000 to 3,000 Yakuza gangs with 80,000 members. The Japanese Yakuza bands have got offices and headquarters and everyone knew about them and they are like a normal organization except they are engaged in criminal activities. In the Japanese, the word Sucho is used for the people who are chief of a Yakuza gang. The Yakuza gangs have got amazing traditions like tattoo or cutting finger as a punishment for its members and bestowing the finger to the chief. In the following I will introduce you the most important Japanese Yakuza gangs and gangsters. Number 1. Kenichi Shinoda who is boss of Yamagushi Gumi also known as Shinobu Tsukasa is 6th and current chairman of Japan's largest Yakuza organization. The organization is well known as Yamaguchi Gumi. In the early 1970s, Shinoda was convicted of murdering a rival Yakuza boss with a katana and spent 13 years in prison. In 2012, the Obama administration of the United States imposed sanctions on him as the leader of the Yamaguchi Gumi. It said that yearly net revenue of the Yamaguchi family is around 80 billion dollars. Number 2. Sumiyoshi Kai Sumiyoshi Kai is the second largest Yakuza group in Japan with an estimated 4,000 members. It was founded in 1958 by Matsuguru Ito. Masao Hori is the fifth chief of the group. Number 3. Inagawa Kai In Japanese language, Kai means society. This Yakuza gang was founded in 1949 by Kakuji Inagawa. The headquarter of the gang is in Tokyo city. It has around 3,100 members. The chief of this Yakuza gang is Jiro Kyuta. There is very few pictures of him on the internet. Number 4. Aizu Kotetsu Kai Among these four Yakuza gangs, Aizu is the oldest and was founded in 1868 by Senkichi Kaozaka. The gang is based in Kyoto and formed an alliance with the 6th Yamaguchi Gumi led by Kenichi Shinoda that we talked about him. It is believed that the Aizu gang has only 30 members. The Japanese Yakuza have hierarchical structure and they follow a rigid social hierarchy. The Yakuza gangs in Japan always try to show a positive face by helping the others. For example, after the 1995 Kobe earthquake or 2011 tsunami, the Yakuza gangs came to help Japanese people. If a Yakuza member breaks the Yakuza law, there is two penalties, death or expulsion with no way back in the world of Yakuza anywhere. Now it's time to Iran. The Iranian gangsters are brave and clever and they carry a high risk by being gangster. Iran is characterized by a very great degree of security and security approaches prevail almost in any areas. And that's why gang and gangster related activities are very hard in Iran in comparison to the other part of the world. The Iranian gangsters 
help the other people and it makes them very popular with Iranian people and part of Iranian people, especially youngsters, like to join their groups. Number 1. Musa Maliki He is well known as Empire of Iran. He has spent many years in jail. When he was released, many joined him and he established one of the most dangerous gangs in Iran. No gangs in Asia can defeat his gang. Musa Maliki won victory in all his battles and it makes him even more popular among the others. He lives in southeastern of Tehran and his fellow citizens are strictly his defenders. Number 2. Puya Paravi He is called Kabir, that in Persian means the great. The title was used for Iranian great kings. He was born in Tehran and now he lives in center of the city which is known as Meydan Jumhuri or the Republic Square. He is a clever, brave and charismatic person. The number of his gang's member is more than the others and they attend in different parts of Iran. His gang members are ready to devote themselves for him. Helping the poor is one of the most important reasons for his popularity. Number 3. Mahmoud Khodai. He is called the King of Terror. He was born in Tehran in Javadi district. At first he was a wrestler and he managed to be a member of Iranian national team. Mahmoud Khodai got ready for World Cup match but for some political reasons the officials refused to dispatch the national team to World Wrestling Championship and this pursued him to give wrestling up and went to Japan. Working as an ordinary worker does not satisfy his ambitions and he started to be a gangster. At first, he joined a Yakuza gang. By his leadership abilities, risk-taking and bravery, soon he founded a powerful and unstoppable gang in Japan. Until that time, no gang or gangster could achieve the power to demand ransom from the other Japanese Yakuza, but Mahmoud's gang could. The other Japanese Yakuza respected him and paid ransom to him. The Yakuza gangs scared him and at the same time they were angry with him. The Japanese police finally managed to arrest him and he was extradited to Iran. In Iran he was free on bail and after a while he escaped to Japan again, where he was again arrested and extradited to Iran. After he released, he has started an ordinary life away from the world of gangsters. Now he lives in Iran. Undoubtedly, he is the most famous Iranian gangster who was a nightmare for Japanese Yakuza's. Number 4. Hani Khomanedar He is called Hani Kurde. He was born in Tehran and he is not a Kurd as he spent his childhood in Kurdish part of Tehran with Kurds. He was well known as Hani Kurde. He is clever and brave and he has a very powerful gang that obey him as a group of soldiers. When something wrong happened between Hani and one of the Turkish mafia, Hani easily defeated him and he showed that no mafia in the Middle East can easily defeat him. About two years ago, he was assassinated but survived. After the therapy, he got revenge severely from those who arranged the assault. Hani Korde is a very popular gangster and his gang members are ready to devote themselves for him. Hani lives in Tehran, Meydan Khorasan, the same as Musa Maliki. Hani respects Musa very much. Iran, Turkey and some of the Middle East countries are his sphere of influence. Number 5. Umid Tahvili He was born in Tehran or Kermanshah and he has been involved in organized crime out of Iran. He was boss of a gang that involved in drug trafficking and fraud. He was persecuted by FBI and Interpol and once he could escape from prison in Canada. In April 2008, he was ranked as top 10 internationally persecuted criminals by Forbes magazine. The number one of this list was Osama bin Laden. The gangs in China are known as triads. 
like Yakuza in Japan or Mafia in Italy, the head of Chinese triads are not famous and matter of anonymity is crucially important for them. The Chinese triads use sacred symbols to communicate with each other. They also use tattoo like their Japanese and European counterparts. Some symbols are unknown even for the other gangs or triads. Hong Kong, Macau and Shanghai are housed for most Chinese triads. It's interesting to know that in 2013, the total revenue of Macau's gambling was seven times larger than that of Las Vegas. Gambling, human trafficking, prostitution, murders and drug trafficking are popular activities among triads. Here I introduce you some famous Chinese triads and gangsters. Number 1. George Chung Wai Han He was head of a Chinese triad and he was described as a sadistic assassin with strong hate rates and uncontrollable violence. He was very notorious and China and England was his sphere of influence. He was on trial for many crimes and was sent to jail. Number 2. 14K Triad The 14K Triad is the second largest known triad in China with 25,000 members worldwide and they are involved in large-scale heroin distribution around the world. They have a hand in gambling and prostitution. This triad has many branches and each branch has its own head or what in China is called dragon head. The 14K gang is very violent and notorious. Number 3. Sun Yiun Perhaps Sun Yiun is the largest triad in China with more than 56,000 members worldwide. Many suspect that Hung Wai Yim is the boss of Sun Yiun triad. The gang was founded by Hung Qin. In comparison to Japanese Yakuza, the Chinese triads are more violent and public benefit activities is not a matter of concern for them. The Japanese Yakuza are more ethical. Afghanistan Afghanistan is mostly famous for narcotics and terrorist groups. Combination of this can foster professional gangs. There are many gangs in Afghanistan, but they are not famous worldwide. The Taliban is the godfather of all the other terrorist and drug trafficking groups, and they tolerate no rival. That's true about Afghan gangsters. Here I show you three person that we can call them Afghan gangsters. Number one. Haji Bakchu. He is a drug smuggler and produced heroin somewhere near Afghanistan Pakistan border. He exported heroin to western countries. He was arrested in 2009 and now he is in jail in the US. He had deep relations with Taliban. Some evidence suggests that he worked as an agent for Taliban. It is believed that he earned about 261 million dollars from heroin and other narcotics in 2006 thanks for FBI for his capture number two Haji Jum -e Khan he was involved in drug trafficking and some sources reported that he is a secret agent for United States of America he was arrested and now he is in jail in the United States of America his case is strictly confidential in the US I couldn't find any photo of him on the internet. Number 3. Bashir Nuruzi. He is a member of Taliban and he is one of the most important Afghan drug traffickers. He was arrested by US and was sent to jail in 2005. After fall of Afghanistan in 2021, he was extradited to Taliban and Taliban freed an American citizen in return. As it's clear about Afghan gangs and gangsters, they all depend on Taliban and they all are involved in lucrative drug trafficking business. Heroin holds a unique position for them. As their godfather, Taliban, they don't hesitate to kill if they need to. India. Now it's time for India. Number 1. Dawood Ibrahim Kaskar. Dawood Ibrahim is one of the most notorious and dangerous Indian gangsters worldwide. He was born in 1955. In 2003, 25 million dollars reward was designated on his head by Indian and United States for his role in 1993 Bombay bombings. Bombay bombings caused 256 dead 
and 1,400 injuries. In 2011, he was named number three on the world's 10 most wanted fugitives by the FBI and Forbes magazine. He is a global terrorist. It's believed that now he lives in Pakistan, while the government of Pakistan denied that. The company belongs to him. Number two, Papu Kalani. His formal name is Suresh Udharmal Kalani. He is an Indian politician who is deeply involved in organized crime and murder. Although he is a notorious gangster, he always won the elections and it shows that democracies can be misled. He is currently on bail in 19 cases including 8 of murder. He was born in 1951. Number 3. Chota Rajan Rajendra Sadashiv Mikalje, popularly is known as Chat Rajan, was born in 1956. He is involved in smuggling, extortion, drug trafficking and murder. His syndicate is based in Bangalore. He cooperated with Dawood Ibrahim until 1993. After that, he formed an independent gang and became a rival for Dawood Ibrahim and D Company. In 2015, he was arrested in Indonesia and was extradited to India. In 2018, he was convicted of a murder of a journalist and handed life imprisonment. Number 4. Abu Salem. He was born in 1962 and was deeply involved in terrorizing and, and extorting Bollywood film industry and his gang killed and tried to kill ma many filmmakers and producers. He was arrested in 2002 in Portugal on charge of using a fake passport and extradited to India. He was tried and convicted in some cases and was sentenced to life imprisonment in 2015. Being notorious is the most important characteristics of Indian gangs and gangsters.